A devastating fire and explosion at an APS facility, sending several Valley firefighters to the hospital. Now, investigators are working to figure out what caused it all. Team 12's Michael Dalvna is in Surprise, where the explosion happened on Friday. And Michael, what new details are we learning tonight? Well, Karibe, it was just behind me at this APS facility where we saw four officers, I mean firefighters, well, end up being impacted by this explosion. They were part of a special hazmat team, and they're waiting for the readings to be inside, safe enough for them to go inside. But as soon as they were about to, well, that's when the explosion occurred. We've never had a call to this magnitude. The units over here just exploded. It certainly has shocked our, our fire department. The firefighter down. 911 calls and a list of injuries. The nose fracture, a skull fracture. Shows the devastation of an explosion at an APS facility in Surprise Friday night. And it turned out that they sliced through an artery in his left leg. The results, hospitalizing four Peoria firefighters. We don't know what the long-term effects of these injuries will be. The APS facility contains lithium ion batteries, able to hold enough energy to power 1,000 homes for an hour, and part of that energy was released on the four hazmat firefighters. Seeing the force that hit them had to be incredibly strong. It's very devastating. I, we're just very thankful that they're alive. According to Peoria PIO Michael Selmer, the hazmat team waited for the readings to go down before going in, but as they were set to enter, that's when the explosion occurred. They never even got a chance. Not even a chance. The investigation is still ongoing, and at this point, it is still unclear whether or not it was the batteries, a power surge, or something else which caused the fire or explosion. They were within just centimeters of their life in this particular call. Now, if you'd like to help the families involved here, the Peoria Fire has actually set up a place for you to donate. You can go to pffc.org, and there, all the money will actually go to the families. We also have a link to it on our website. We're live in Surprise. Michael Doudna, 12 News.